we're going to just kind of hang and talk, uh -huh. and and then I'll share mine. You share what you have going. So we are, you know, working on our partnership as well as the partnership with the horses. And this is from uh, the Book of Awakening by Mark Nepo, and we jump to the November twentieth date, and it's about commitment and risk because I really felt that. You know, it, it kind of speaks to what we're doing here with the horses. And for you all, because I've been really uh, pleased and, and uh, I'm sure the horses feel that too, where, where they feel that you do have a commitment with them, not only commitment for the, for the video and for the people that are out there that are watching that, but, but for us and for the horses. Right. And, and so I wanted to honor that to begin with. And then read this a little bit. Um, the moment one definitely commits oneself, then providence moves too. All sorts of things occur to help one that would never otherwise have occurred. A whole stream of event, events, issues from the decision which no one could have dreamed it would have come their way. W.H. Murray. Cool. We'd all like a guarantee before making a decision or taking a risk. The irony is that taking a risk is what opened us to our feet. It's like wanting to know what things will take place. Just to be figured out that way. He says, I always need to be relearning that real commitment comes before I know where anything else is going. Kind of like last week, remember? Where it just kind of fell in the bullets, yeah. just jump on Sam and see what happens. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> remember? Yeah. It was yes. Right there without the saddle and yes. without much. And time seemed to be right. We're committed, but there was an element of risk, but it seemed to be okay. We waited out with a little bit of I made it on the second try. Yeah. Sam, right? That was yeah. Sam. Sam. Sam, I am. That real commitment yeah. comes before I know where anything else is going. That's what listening to your heart is all about. Without jumping off, it's perched, the bird would never fly. Without jumping out of the first time, without asking to eat the whole, behold, the divine essence waits inside everything the way bread hardens, yet never getting in. Love that. So I blocked out the middle part because I didn't want to get into all that. And then we jumped to the bottom and I had some notes on that. Center yourself and with each breath commit your being to where you are. After a while, walk slowly about. I changed, you know, this the room to mm -hmm. arena. And with each step, feel commitment in the landing and risk in the lifting. Isn't that cool? Cool. But what I was going to focus on today to begin with, and it's probably a good time because we wanted to go slowly and see what you all think and for in, uh -huh. is that we uh, center ourselves with that breath. And we want to talk to you first. So we center ourselves with a breath. I'm pretty adept at all those. Right, hearing things. things. Yep. But probably other people may not. Oh yeah. The scent that's in the air, whatever uh, it might be. As I said, you know those uh, in, uh, in all those respects. I'm a lot like the horses. Yeah. You know, a gift that we don't have that heightened awareness in those there. I think so.
Look at Wendy. Such a pretty color. She is. Yeah. Hello, Chef. Where are we going? Where are we going, Brandy? Oh. Well, I need to see. No, the temperature is the same. Uh, what causes the swelling? We don't know. Maybe he banged himself, or oh. the wind was suspecting that he was standing too long, which, uh, you know, they say a horse has five hearts, the heart and the chest, and each hoof is actually has a little pumping function. Really? So the, the, in the middle of the hoof, the arrow head shaped structure called a frog, and it's softer, it has a consistency of um, generally goes sort of from the front back and down except in the instep here you see that the hair actually goes the other way the hair goes up yeah. and then sort of forms like a little like it and so that's why there's the cowlick There you go. Okay, Leah and Nikki. Are we, are we going, we're going to... Extra dancing with her, and then when she has her, she says she'll give you. She's the most talented horse here. Really?
taking that risk with. Yeah. So we think what we do is we just give her a minute, she's calling out the shadow and the she's definitely winning. She's, she seemed restless. Well, that's okay. Yeah. So what we do is we just turn around and show her. Zeke. Zeke. So we're Zeke. You know, there's only so much change that can occur. And so much change that we as, as loving individuals uh, want to do. Because then it becomes just a kind of mastery and control. Right. Where there's no personality left. A lot of people do that with their sign. See this? Can you see it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anytime a horse does All we need to do with her. Corinne, shall we go ahead and bring Shadow on in? Walk on, baby. Walk on. That's that good boy. Okay. See a little bit easier. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. No biting. Ooh. Oh. Man, that was a hard one. I, oh, I felt that. You felt that he had to be bite down? Or no? uh, just, well, a little. I, I just felt how hard it was. What it would feel like if he just really bite him down. Rest in the 